Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the maternity orientation for Hogue Hospital, Newport Beach. My name is Kim, and today we're going to go. We're going to review a wide variety of topics, services, and resources available to you, and to prepare you for your delivery at Hogue Hospital, Newport Beach. Welcome to the Hogue family. My name is Kim once again, and um, I've been a part of the Hogue family for 30 years. I'm a nurse, a board-certified lactation consultant, and I'm part of the OB education team. Have a pen and paper ready, because there's going to be a lot of information that you can jot down. Please know that we will answer your questions in the chat box as able, and we will have a question and answer period after the presentation. So let's take a glimpse at the Sue and Bill Gross Women's Pavilion. Let's take a glimpse inside. We provide a complete continuum of care here. We have a fetal diagnostic testing center. We have antepartum suites. Those are available to our moms who are pregnant that might need to be hospitalized before their delivery. We have an obstetric emergency department, a labor and delivery and recovery unit, mother baby suites, a NICU <clears throat> level three. So we are capable of taking care of very small and very sick babies. We have an array of OB education resources, post-delivery resources, and dedicated, specially trained providers for every unit. When you arrive at the hospital, we're going to want you to park in our dolphin parking structure. It is right across the street from the main entrance of the hospital, the Sue and Bill Gross Women's Pavilion. It is a fee-for-service parking structure with a few exceptions. If you want the latest on our parking, you can go to hogue.org and visit the patient and visitor parking policy. So on our fifth floor is our labor delivery and recovery unit. This is an 18 bed unit. We also have a seven bed OB triage. We have vast experience in multiple births. We have three dedicated operating rooms. And this is also where our OB emergency room is. Um, so this is an outline of our general visiting policy. Please understand due to COVID, our visiting policy is subject to change. Please check out our current visitor policy updates. Our most recent update occurred on November 18th. Um, for our maternity patients, they are allowed one significant other. Um, that would be the same person that's allowed to stay with them through their labor and overnight. And our <clears throat> maternity patients are also allowed to have a doula with them for their labor. And a doula is a trained support person for that mom throughout her labor. If you have any questions regarding our visitor policy, you can go to hogue.org slash visitor policy. So let's take a look at the various care providers that may be caring for you. Most of you have already established a relationship with your OBGYN. We also have laborists here at Hogue Hospital. Those are doctors that can deliver your baby if for some reason your OBGYN is not available. We have neonatologists at the hospital 24-7, anesthesiologist at the hospital 24-7. Our perinatologists, those are doctors that take care of women who have high-risk pregnancies. We have pediatricians, midwives, and specially trained nurses. <coughs> So what are some of the labor therapies that you can expect when you deliver at Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach? Well, we do provide pain management, pharmacological pain management, to all our moms if they choose to receive it. We have oral and IV medications available and epidurals. There are also physiological labor management that we can do during your labor. We provide all our moms with birth and peanut balls if they would like them, rocking chairs, Water therapy, if okay by your doctor, can happen in your shower. Aromatherapy, we do encourage all our laboring moms in movement and position during labor, touch and massage, visualization, mindfulness, hypnotherapy, doula support like I mentioned, and something that's up and coming, our Nurture VR program. And I'll go into that in just a second. <clears throat> So what is Nurture VR? Well, our Nurture VR program is going to be available soon. It's a first-of-its-kind virtual reality program for expectant mothers. It's, a, it's 14 weeks worth of education, and it can, can become available when a mom is 27 weeks along in her pregnancy. You can see that the VR headsets give moms access to prenatal education, pain and stress management, meditation capabilities, postpartum support, and we know that Nurture VR may help to lower a mom's stress, 
promote well-being. This program was designed for women by women, and it's a very customizable experience. So if you want any future updates on the Nurture VR program, please go to hogue.org. <clears throat> of course, we want all of you to bond with your baby. Here at Hogue, your partner may cut the umbilical cord. We do skin-to-skin -skin bonding with you and your baby right after birth and provide that amazing golden hour and give you that time to bond with your baby. And we're going to have you initiate breastfeeding with your baby as soon as you and baby are ready. This is a look at one of our mother-baby private suites. Those are on the seventh floor. It is a 48-bed unit, and this is where we are going to care for your family after delivery. So what can you expect in the postpartum mother-baby unit? Well, first of all, your OB doctor and your pediatrician will visit you daily in this unit. We're going to focus on bonding with your baby. Your baby does remain with you during your stay. We provide quiet time during the day. We do cue-based feeding, so if your baby is showing us hunger cues and needs to eat, we're going to put that baby to breast. For our moms that are breastfeeding, it's typical that a newborn would breastfeed 8 to 12 times a day. And we're going to support you with all your baby care needs. The nurses are there to help you to learn all those skills in caring for your baby, whether it's breastfeeding, swaddling, burping, diaper changing, all of those things. We do do mother-baby couplet care here at Hogue, which means one nurse will take care of both mom and baby as a couplet for the entire shift. We do provide our parents with a celebration dinner before they go home. All our nurses are trained to support the breastfeeding family, and we have board-certified lactation consultants to help any, our any of our families who require further breastfeeding needs or need resources after discharge. And we take infant security very seriously here at Hogue. All our employees wear, oop, I don't have my badge. All our parents, all our patients, oh, excuse me, all our nurses wear a pink stripe on their badge. Um, it's going to be a pink stripe right across the badge that lets you know that they're a mother, baby, NICU, or LDR employee. We also make sure all our babies and parents have identical ID bands. Those stay on throughout the hospital stay. And then our units are locked. So the NICU, the labor and delivery unit and the postpartum unit are all locked units. You have to have access um, to visit babies or to be allowed into the unit. So what are some newborn procedures you could expect um, after your baby is born? So these procedures are done before the baby is discharged home. Here at Hogue, we do participate in the California Newborn Screening Program. That is a blood test that is done on your baby before discharge home, and it does screen newborns for serious but treatable genetic disorders. We do a non-invasive hearing screen before your baby goes home, a non-invasive congenital heart defect screen. We screen all our babies for jaundice before they're discharged home. Uh, we have a birth certificate office on the seventh floor, so we're able to get that birth certificate and social security application started before you're discharged from the hospital. Um, we do car seat challenges on some of our smaller babies, so if your baby is under 37 weeks of age, the nurses will let you know, and a car seat challenge will need to be done before you leave the hospital. Um, if you're having a little boy and you're choosing to have him circumcised, you just need to let your OB or your pediatrician know that's what you would like, and that would be done in our nursery before your discharge home. We do provide some medications and vaccinations before your baby is discharged home. Hogue follows the American Academy of Pediatric Guidelines in the administration of eye, eye ointment and vitamin K injection for your newborn, and that's done usually after the golden hour. We also provide the hepatitis B vaccination, which is a series of three vaccines, but the first vaccination can be given the day your baby is born or before discharge home. Um, in regards to the Hep B vaccine, the nurses will provide you with a CDC information sheet, and a consent would be need to be signed before we give you the Hep B vaccine. Let's take a look at our neonatal intensive care unit. In our neonatal intensive care unit, we have neonatologists on staff 24-7 with subspecialties, as you can see, listed. We are in partnership with Chalk Hospital. We have a developmental care clinic, Lactation support, um, the board certified lactation consultants do consult on our babies in the NICU. We do have 24 seven visitation. We do have a unique ability to provide parents with um, 
ability to see their babies with the NICVIEW cameras that are available. So um, you will be provided with the website and you will design a username and a password which allows you to see your baby via your phone while your baby is resting in the NICU. And um, that username and password is only yours and you can share it with family members if you want to um, or whoever you want to to be able to get a view of that beautiful little baby. We do have transition to home education, a cuddler program, and lots of comprehensive care, um, occupational therapy, social service, respiratory, and pharmacy. Our updated uh, visitor policy for our neonatal intensive care unit is that two designated support people can visit at the same time, and it would be those same two people for the duration of the baby's stay. At Hogue, we have a wide variety of breastfeeding resources. In the hospital, all our nurses are trained to support the breastfeeding family, and we have those board-certified lactation consultants like myself available seven days a week to assist breastfeeding families before they go home or if they need special resources. We also have in-room education available, written information and educational videos as well. We now offer virtual support groups. You can meet other breastfeeding moms via Zoom and join one of our breastfeeding support groups that's led by a lactation consultant. We have them for multiples, our NICU babies, and just our basic breastfeeding support group. Our baby line is a great resource for new families. Actually, you can call the baby line while you're pregnant if you have questions, and even after the baby is born. The number is listed there, 949-764-2229. We are there Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 to answer your questions. If we pick up the phone, we'll be happy to answer your questions. If for some reason you get our voicemail, please your, leave your name and a message and we're gonna call you back that day. But you can call the baby line for baby care questions, breastfeeding questions, anything related to baby care. Obviously, if there's a medical need, we would want you to call your pediatrician or your OB doctor. We also offer a breastfeeding clinic that is available at the Hogue Health Center in Newport Beach. We are available Monday through Friday by appointment. So if there's a family that needs some one-on-one -on -one attention with their breastfeeding needs, you can call the baby line and we'll be happy to make an appointment for you. Those appointments are one hour, they're one-on-one -on -one with a lactation consultant, and the charge is $40. And finally, we have our Pacify app. The Pacify app is available to you to download. We provide you with the sign-up code um, when you, after you have your baby. And the Hope Pacify app is a great complement to our breastfeeding clinic, especially when a mom needs breastfeeding help after hours or on the weekend. So the Pacify app provides mom with on-demand lactation support 24-7 via FaceTime on her phone, and it is absolutely free. And that Hogue Pacify app is available to all our moms for a full year after the delivery of their baby. So once again, you can download the app, but know that you'll be provided with the access sign-up code once you deliver your baby. This is the little card that you'll receive after you deliver your baby, and the access code is right on the back. And remember, um, if you call the Pacif I mean, sorry, if you do the Pacify app, you'll be speaking with a lactation consultant, and she can offer you assistance with breastfeeding, latching, sore nipples, pumping, anything you need. We want our moms to have a continuum of care 24-7 as they get off to their start with breastfeeding. So there's lots of support. So let's look at our Women's Health Institute and the comprehensive services that are available. Pre-delivery, we have a 14-bed antepartum unit on our fifth floor. If we have moms who need to be hospitalized while they're pregnant, this is the unit for them. We also have fetal diagnostic testing. That's located on the sixth floor. It's for outpatient testing, and our perinatologists have access to your fetal monitoring at all times. We also have our Sweet Success Gestational Diabetes Program, OB education classes and support groups. We have our Hogue for Her Maternal Mental Health and Pelvic Health Program and Bridges for Newborns. So let's go into a little bit more detail. Let's talk about our prenatal OB education classes. We have a variety of classes available. You simply need to go to hogue.org slash OB education. So if you are going to be a parent for the first time, we really recommend you take some type of child preparation class, childbirth preparation class. We have an Understanding Childbirth e-class that is available. The cost is $40. You can watch it on demand. It's a comprehensive course. It's usually completed within about four to six hours, but know that you can do it on your own time, and it's a class that's gonna prepare you for what to expect on delivery day. 
We have a mindfulness workshop for pregnant and new moms. We have several classes that are available um, at YouTube Hogue Health, and those are free. That would include the breastfeeding class, a pumping class, the baby saver class, which is our baby CPR class, and our baby care basics class. We also have a fourth trimester class and the Nurture VR information. So let's talk about our Hogue for Her Center for Wellness. That is located at the Hogue Health Center in Newport Beach at 500 Superior. The website is hogue.org slash hogue for her, or their phone number is 949-764-7277, and we'll have that listed in the chat box. As you can see, the Hogue for Her Center for Wellness offers a wide variety of integrated therapies. Everything from Pilates, fitness training, massage therapy, acupuncture, yoga. It's also where our maternal mental health support team resides. If you are a mom and you need some information, you can go to our maternal mental health outpatient clinic. There we screen moms for maternal depression, connect them to support services, provide early intervention and treatment, and community education. If you are somebody who would like information, you can always call our maternal mental health support line, and that number is 949-764-5333, and that number is available Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. The Bridges for Newborns program. This is available to pre and postpartum moms, and what it is, it's to provide a link for our families who need resources, which would include things like insurance or breastfeeding resources. Um, it can set up home visitation programs, public health nurse home visits, information on SIDS and immunizations. If you're somebody who needs services or has any questions, please go ahead and call the number 949-764-6153. We also have a Hogue Healthy Together app. This is a health and wellness app. It allows you to have access to telemedicine visits. You can even call the baby line with the Hoagie, with the Hogue Healthy Together app. Um, but what's new is we have a new maternity module. That maternity module is gonna let you select birth plan preferences, access class registration, and give you trimester related information. Let's talk about COVID-19. So information on COVID-19 is updated regularly and information changes daily. So we have a proactive approach. We want to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and offer families a safe and comfortable environment. So we do have safety measures in place. Our visitor policy is updated regularly. We want all our moms to stay safe while they're pregnant. And we do have information on COVID-19 and pregnancy, COVID-19 and breastfeeding, even labor and delivery frequently asked questions. So please, for the most updated information, please visit hogue.org slash COVID. All right, what do you bring to the hospital with you? This seems like a very long list, but these are all definitely needed items, so let's review it a little bit. So for mom, we do want you to bring your medical insurance card and some ID. Um, it would be really important if you're taking any medications daily or have allergies, bring a list of those. We want to know that. Um, if your OB or provider asks you to bring in certain forms on the day of your delivery, please bring those in. You can bring in your birth plan and any comfort items. Don't forget your cell phone and charger. Um, we want you to bring comfortable clothes and footwear, and that can be clothing you may wear during labor or after delivery of your baby. If you wear contact, contacts or glasses, we definitely don't want you to forget those. Um, you can bring in your favorite hair and hygiene products, lip balm, whatever you'd like to bring. Um, you can bring your Nurture VR headset, a small speaker or headphones, visual aids, computers, iPads, and tablets are welcome. Um, face masks are a must. Um, you will need to wear a face mask as you enter the building and you will be screened as you enter. Um, we will provide you with water and beverages and things like that. If you're bringing linens from home, especially something like a pillowcase, we want we encourage it to be colored or patterned. Our linens at the hospital are white, so we don't want any of your pillows left behind. We want to make sure you take all those things with you. And then any miscellaneous, miscellaneous personal items, go ahead and bring those as well. Now, what do you need to bring for baby? Well, we're going to take a lot of, take care of a lot of the things you're going to need for your baby. We'll provide your baby with diapers and wipes and swaddling blankets uh, during the hospital stay. Your baby will be given a hat that's a little keepsake for you to take home. But it is important to bring an outfit for your baby to go home in. 
and a receiving blanket or two to go home in. And number one is having that car seat ready to go installed and ready to go. Please don't bring it in in a box. We, we can't install your car seat for you. That's your responsibility. And you can't install it too soon. So get information you need and get that car seat installed. I have a few resources for you in regards to car seat. At chp.ca.gov, they have a child safety seat video that is very informative. You can also go to cdc.gov and get child passenger safety information. Now, as far as your support person goes, uh, extra clothing, masks, snacks, cash or other personal items, all those things, anything you want to stay comfortable during your stay. All right, so when do you get to go home? Well, your provider will determine the length of your stay based on your medical needs. So your OB will discharge you, the pediatrician will discharge the baby. But most of our uncomplicated vaginal deliveries can look forward to returning home within 24 to 48 hours. And most of our C-section moms are back in the comfort of their own home by day three. So how do you pre-register for your delivery here at Hogue? Well, we have a lot of different convenient ways you can do that. First of all, you can go to hogue.org and pre-register there. You can do that on the Hogue Healthy Together mobile app or by phone or mail. So online, you're going to go to hogue.org slash pregnancy. If you would like to mail in your registration, you just need to download the PDF and send the appropriate forms in as soon as possible. If you want to call in your registration or you have any questions, you can use the phone number provided. And if anything changes after you pre-register, maybe your insurance changes after you pre-register and you want to update the information, go ahead and call that number. And then uh, upon approval from your provider, you may select Hogue Hospital Irvine for your delivery if you wish. So what do you do now? Here is your to-do list. Let's get you on that website, hogue.org slash pregnancy, and learn as much as you can. We have a virtual maternity tour there. You can complete your online registration. You can register for prenatal and OB classes. And for any other questions, don't hesitate to call us on the baby line. We want you to go ahead and select your pediatrician. You can do that at hogue.org slash find a doctor. Go ahead and educate yourself on immunizations. You can do that at the Hogue website the American Academy of Pediatrics, or the CDC website. Go ahead and talk to your OB, your midwife, about your birth plan. Get ready to take that baby home. Let's make sure you get that car seat installed safely and do any baby proofing you need at home and dealing with any safety at home or with pets. And then, of course, you can research cord blood banking as an option for you.